They blend in very well with the murky water that we have all over Florida. And they only stick the smallest parts of their body above the water. Like right here at the top of their snout, there's two little holes. Those are his nostrils. That's the only part he'll stick above the water to get a breath. And if he smells something, he doesn't like. Maybe like you or I, he'll close those up, go into water, and he can hold his breath for like two hours. So a very long time. So you have no idea where he's going to pop up next. When he does pop up and he thinks the coast is clear, the next thing that pops up with it are his eyes. A lot of people think these eyes are in a bad spot because it looks like you can poke them out pretty easily. But watch this. I'll show you guys first. Ready? You try to poke out his eyes. His eyes go right down into the head. And when danger's gone, they pop back up. Just like that. You guys over here? Watch. Right, ready? Oh, hold on. Ready? Right down in. And right back up. You see that? You guys behind me over here? Ready? Bloop. You guys see it? Bloop. You guys look thrilled with that so far. I'm assuming you didn't come out here to watch me poke this thing in the eyeball, right? No, you want to see some crazy stuff, right? Yeah. Like two people. Yeah. Come on, you want to see some crazy stuff, right? Yeah. All right, that was much better. Before I do anything too stupid, I have one quick question. Shout out the answer if you think you know it. What's the most dangerous part of an alligator? Yeah. All right, wait, wait, hold on. Let's do this. Raise your hand if you think it's the mouth. All right, raise your hand if you think it's the tail. Okay, everyone who just raised their hand for tail, just take a really good look at me right now. <laughs> yeah, you just failed an open book test, all right? It's the mouth, guys. I mean, don't get me wrong, though. If this tail hits you, it will give you a nice bruise, but that's about it. If the mouth gets a hold of you, it's going to take something. you probably not give it back. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys the, nice, the, the old inside of this alligator's mouth. And it is all up to this alligator. He has a lot of jaw pressure, so if you don't want his mouth open, there's not much I can do. We will give it a shot. Oh, looks like he wants it open. There you go. Look inside there, guys. 80 to 82. Razor sharp teeth. Made for ripping and tear. Enough really... Ooh. Oh, hey, you all right? Yep. I think I just peed a little bit. <laughs> Woo! All right. We all saw inside there, right? Uh, no. You mean no? Uh, they didn't see nothing. Well, then move. <laughs> Look here, it's the most dangerous part. <laughs> no? Alright, hold on, hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me turn it around. I'll show you behind me. <clears throat> oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm so strong. People are always like, hey man, why don't you rest the big 12-footers? I'm like, hey man, why don't you shut up? <laughs> True story. Alright, can you see now? Oh, I'm glad you're happy. Here we go. Just for you guys. Let's try this again. There we go. He, he wants it open. Like I was saying, 80 to 82 razor sharp teeth made for ripping and tearing, not really chewing. And if you look in the back of the throat, you guys see that little flap of skin back there? That's... I don't see that. Who cares about that? If you missed that, come back later. Someone else can show you. We're going to move on. You can see this thing does have plenty of jaw pressure. It is all meant for closing, though. He really does not have too much opening power. I can keep his mouth shut with just one hand, but it does take less pressure than one hand to keep the mouth of an alligator closed. So y'all check this out. It's like, it's like the famous last word to a redneck, right? Hey, y'all check this out. Yeah, hold up here. From Polk County, hold up too. All right, so this works. Watch how little pressure this should take. All right, give it up for Danny. No hands. Hey, I wouldn't hold that too long, man. What? Get a pretty nasty hickey doing that. It's the only way I'm getting one. Wasn't that funny, all right? <laughs> you know what? You guys didn't seem too impressed with that one. Uh, let me take that stuff a step further. I'm going to try to show you guys the working jaw of an alligator. There's a lot of debates out there. There used to be. They used to think the difference between an alligator and a crocodile was which one of the jaws moved. They thought it was the top jaw of an alligator, bottom jaw of a crocodile. It's actually the bottom jaw of both animals. So I'm going to show you guys that right now, probably in the dumbest way I know how. So if you got a camera, get it ready. This works out. It's going to make one heck of a snapshot. Hey, you know what? I'd go ahead and get those cameras ready anyways, because even if this goes horribly wrong, still one heck of a snapshot. Thank you, Justin. You're welcome.